welcome to the show now, Albert Fabrigal. What a backdrop. Bonjour, Rosanna. It's nice, huh? What a, what a nice scenario we have here. It is beautiful and even more beautiful tech things to analyse this week. Although, Same. I'm a bit worried because your run of form of late, you talked about the MGUH in Miami and then subsequently yeah. we've had a failure with Charlotte Kirk. Then last week we spoke about DRS and Max Verstappen's had a failure. So which reliability <laughs> issue are we focusing on this week, Albert? I've had some emails from the team saying, OK, Albert, stop just uh, <laughs> talking about technical stuff. Now, I, I choose something that hopefully will be not uh, a reliability problem this weekend. Well, of course, we talk a lot about sparks in Formula One. We yep. see them, the cars generating sparks as they fly down the straight. And we talk about the plank of the car yep. and titanium. And people talk about it, but we don't see it very often. Uh, because we just see the spark, so it's yeah. what's actually happening underneath. But we've got a plank here, yeah. not yeah. to size, because how big does it have to be under a Formula One car? Yeah, this is one of the third pieces that the, uh, the teams are allowed to fit under the car. This floor, or this plank that goes all along the floor, we haven't seen it too much this year. You know why? Because the people uh, and the teams are hiding a lot what is going under the car, so it's difficult to see, but it's more or less as it was last year. So the regulations, said that there must be like a wooden piece, it's not wooden, but it's a wooden piece of 30 centimeters uh, What is weight. the material? It's like a raisin, it's a phenolic raisin, it's, it's free by the regulations, every single team can choose different suppliers, but it must have a specific density that is regulated in the regulations, and it must be 1.3, between 1.3 and 1.6. So it's not wood, but lots, it looks wood. Yes, not wood. In the old days it was though, wasn't it? It used to be wood, very far, yes, far back, far, very yeah, many yeah, yeah. years ago. And then it was when we start uh, watching the sparks because they fix it with uh, uh, metallic parts. So when the car was touching the floor, was doing that, that the sparks. The, the target of this piece is to keep the clearance to the floor the same for everyone. So for FIA, it was difficult to measure the clearance with the floor of every single car. They say, okay, let's put a plank all around the floor, all the length of the floor. Same, same uh, thickness for everyone. So uh, if they keep the thickness, we know that the car is the, uh, the clearance with the floor that we wanted. And of course, we've seen cars bouncing a lot this year, the porpoising being spoken about all the time. So the floor starts to wear away a little bit, the plank starts yeah. to wear away. What can teams do at that point? Oh, they can change it. Uh, FIA say that it must be a minimum thickness of uh, 10 millimeters, but they allow them to have a wear about one millimeter. So they have nine millimeters and they can change it after one session for a, for a new one. That's uh, not a problem. But this material has to be, you, you cannot create fire because there is a lot of temperature going in as on I can this imagine, because the there is a friction with the floor at high speed. It creates a lot of temperature. Thus, uh, it must be a material that it don't become fire. It don't do a lot of uh, smoke. It creates a little bit of a smoke and to have less resistance as possible. It has to slide without wear or without being came in parts over the tarmac. Wow. It's got a, a big responsibility. Yes, yes, And it then is. there are these holes, and perhaps I can hold it up there to the yep. camera so you can yep. see. I can put my fingers through. Hello, yep. hello, hello. What do we put in there? That there's a little holes like this that are to fix the plank on the car, on the bottom of the car. And then FIA, for, uh, because of the regulations, they, they said it on the regulations, must have six points all over the length of the, the, the plank to measure the width. So they just Put a rule here, so it's 10 millimeters is in the rules. If there is wear in this area and it's nine millimeters is in the rules, it says 8.95 millimeters, it's gone. It's, it's over. Gone. So over. then it's a car that has been disqualified. But there is an area that is more important. And I'm looking the front. at the front. Yeah. Yes, lots of little holes, and I'm sure we can probably see that as well. Look, hold that up. Let, let's put it on the other way. Yes, look, so it's okay. more beautiful. Yes, that's it. There we go. It's this area that for regulations it must be uh, 200 square centimeters, Very good. <laughs> like a chocolate bar, more like or less. A chocolate bar. Oh, now you're yeah. talking my language. Where the teams must fit these pieces that is made by uh, titanium alloy. All times were uh, like a, I would say some something heavier than this. It Much was heavier. like tungsten. Tungsten yes. is called tungsten, mm -hmm. the, and that the teams use it to to move the weight. Uh, the, like the it's ballast. A ballast. Yes, yes, a ballast. So FIA said that's dangerous because if one piece of that goes off the floor after an accident and it weighs one kilo, a helmet or something, yeah. it could kill someone. So they said, let's do it in a titanium material that is very light, you it's can much see. Lighter. Yes, yeah. And the teams must put this area at the front. This is the very, very front of the car. 
this material. And there are lots of little pieces here. Yes. Is that just to show us, or actually, do you have lots of little pieces yeah, to make know, it up like look a at puzzle? That. It's like a puzzle. You, yeah. can, you can put it, put it here. This is a new piece. You see that it's machined from a block. Mm -hmm. And this is after it touches the floor and creates sparks, because this is the piece on the floor that creates the sparks at the front. This and, piece. And then you when can see a little bit floor, of wear there on yeah. that one, so you can change it out, put another one in, and it's all okay. Yeah, it's been already filed, let's say, and it creates the sparks on the floor. And we'll see the sparks going out behind the car. So this is the part that it creates the spark. Nothing, it's a little bit artificial, to be honest, but... But it's great to be able to see yes. it because I think we talk about it so much in Formula One. Yep. All the floor, all the plank, and we talk about sparks and the titanium. Um, but now but I'm seeing see... what it looks like on a car. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping you've got yeah. something underneath That's for us. That's 22 <gasps> regulations. I'm coming closer. Basic car, baseline car. And I will try to turn it around because it's a wind tunnel model. And I've put this metal piece under the car. Where yep. you can see, so I put we it, can see it going along there. I stick it with a brown collar. You're like a teacher now with your, your yeah. red pen. And you see these six six holes? Yeah. Like we had one here at the front, the one at the rear, and two here in the in the middle area is the ones that FIA uses to measure the thickness of the of the plank yeah. all time during the, the weekend. And then obviously there is all the fixing points that can be used to fix the plank on, on the on the chassis. And this area and that's the bit at the we very were talking front about. is that area that they, I, I left it without the the brown color to show that is where the sparks are created. And that's the main part yes. of where you would expect the car to hit the floor. Yes. But I guess this year has been a bit different because we've had You're these right. porpoising phenomena. Good point, good point, Rosanna, because we all, always uh, used to see the cars running with a lot of rake last year. So the rear of the car is really high. It's very difficult to see them touching Tilted the floor. Down. But we, with, the, with the purposing, we see that the cars are also marking the floor, the, the boot plank or the racing plank, whatever it's called, in this area. So when they are bouncing, when they are purposing, they are touching also in this area, not only on the front that is creating the sparks. So that means maybe teams are going through more floors, more planks this year? For sure. They, they try to go as low as possible, but up to the limit because with and the purposing. And of course that area, that's quite underneath the driver's yep. Even, derriere. Yeah, where the engine is, mm. where the engine is. That is dangerous, that touching the, hitting very hard the engine here in a, in a curb or something like that, it could damage the engine. So this is not, it, it doesn't create like a, a airbag or something that it can absorb energy. It's straight away to the, to the car. Well, that is fabulous to see what it actually looks like. We don't yep. get to see that too often in Formula One. And then to see under a car like that, as you say, oh. screens go up whenever sure. the bottom of the car is being worked on. <laughs> I'm sure that Sam and Cry will explain how these things work and how they create that wash on the front. But uh, this is another history and the flaws that goes around it. Albert, thank you so much Thanks, for Rosanna. yet another great tech demo. I cannot thank wait you. to see what you've got planned for us next. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't finished yet. Good. Yeah.